<clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's been a little while, but ladies and gentlemen, that's only because I've been waiting with anticipation to bring you 2K24. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do it all. <laughs> first thing is first, this is a universe mode update. So I need to tell you right now off the bat, the universe mode is making a full return. I can't promise it'll be every day like I used to do, but definitely Fridays and Saturdays. More than likely, we're doing this stream early. You know, it's probably going to take a little time to build the universe because oh, we're building the universe mode from scratch, ladies and gentlemen. But it is going to... What was I saying? Universe mode today is early. It's going to take a little time to build it. But the new schedule, that is all ironed and worked out. Fridays and Saturdays. From 3 o'clock, maybe 5 o'clock. But definitely within that time frame. But ladies and gentlemen, we're not even going to uh, waste too much more time. We got 2K24, it's here. I know it's been out for a few days, I'm a little bit late. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm not wasting any more time, let's get into it. Starting up a new universe mode. Um, ignore this, this was more of my, you know, before I brought you guys universe mode, I had to test it. I had to see you know, if there were any major updates or differences, um, we're not going to talk about that. <sighs> so we're going to start with classic mode. We're not, we don't do superstar mode over here. Now, the first thing we have to do, ladies and gentlemen, crazy enough, I'm just going to have to delete all of this. Can't delete that yet, but delete that and that, that, and that. And that, and that. So you're probably wondering why I'm deleting everything. Why? Uh, let me just say like this. When I started universe mode from scratch, especially from scratch, it's better to have a blank template. You know, a blank calendar, a blank canvas. So, we can call 2K23 and the universe mode that I did with that a bit of an experiment. You know, just to get a feel. Well, that's April, so yeah, that's the full year. All right. So we'll start with Raw. So I start with Raw or the roster. Uh, how should I do this? Well, uh, okay, first thing is first. Options. Classic mode, off. Leave that on. Crowd reaction, yeah. Injuries, yeah. Entrances, yes. Turn these all the way off. All the way off. Turn that off. So I know there's a reset universe mode. If you've never played universe mode, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you now, resetting the universe mode it literally would just undo everything I just did. There is no point of doing that. All right, so we're back here. Um, I'd have to make this show before I did anything else. So there's no point of actually touching the superstars in the roster at all. Uh, championships, yeah, we do need to do that, because we need to go on ahead and just blank canvas everything. Go ahead and just, yeah. Okay. 
Okay. No champions. Are there any tag teams I need to get rid of? This one. Get rid of that. <sighs> Might as well get rid of that. Chase you. Uh, uh. Damage control. Leave them. Gallus. Imperium. Endoshear. Judgment Day. Yeah, LWO. Yeah. Yeah, delete that. So I know you're probably wondering why am I not like removing Bailey from damage control or adding like Asuka? I want to, in a way, as much as I said, just a blank canvas, I don't want to completely start from scratch. I want the universe mode to kind of build naturally and go from there. So we're going to leave all the members of damage control, all the factions, we're going to leave them alone. We're not really touching them, including the LWO. We're just going to leave it alone. New Day, leave that alone. The OC. I'm basically just deleting any, like, I guess you could say legends, legendary tag teams. I want just base roster guys, or current roster guys, I should say. Okay. Yep, save the changes. Rivalries, there are none. There are none. Championships, options. Okay, so all that's done. So now, we are here. First thing we're going to do, we're going to make Monday Night Raw. And by doing that, now we have to completely unselect the entire roster. Because like I said, we're starting from scratch. That means we have essentially our own roster, you know? We're going to make sure that our roster for Raw is unique. It's going to be different. Uh, maybe not major differences, but absolute differences. So if you saw earlier that test universe mode I had was basically me going with the, you know, the roster idea that I had, seeing how it would work out, seeing how the pay-per-views line up, how that worked. You know, it was nothing crazy. Who's the one? Oh, they all need to go. Who? Who am I missing? Ah, Dexter Loomis. It's crazy. All right, and we're going to knock this down to five. So like I said earlier, the universe mode that we did, in a way, was a test universe mode. For 2K23, I mean. Uh, yeah. Just give it to Roman and just remove him. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Remove him. Uh, we're going to switch the U.S. title and put. There we go. Sure, Gunther. Remove him. Tag team championships. Yeah, women's world heavyweight. We're going to put the women's WWE. Sure, and remove. Women's tag team championship. Hmm. See, this is the biggest thing, ladies and gentlemen. We really don't have a massive, there is like not a deep women's tag division at all. And ladies and gentlemen, I have not downloaded any creative superstars. I don't, I am not sure. I'm not sure. It's uh, the, I don't think anyone has really put out any. Any of my favorite, you know, custom creators, car creators, I don't think they've put out anything. And it's nothing against anyone else who has put something out, but I prefer to use the guys that I used in 2K22 and 2K23. They usually come with just fantastic, fantastic creative superstars. So that's who I'm going to go with. 
Um, but like I was saying, when it comes to the women's tag division, there is not a deep division at all. Like, at all. So because there's not a deep women's division, I don't necessarily feel like we should have the women's tag titles just yet. So we are going to vacate that slot. But that being said, with that being said, the women's tag division will come. Especially if we can like organically build some women's tag teams. But until then, there is no women's tag division. Okay. So all we need are the first 15. Uh, I think that's how it worked. Um, but that being said, ladies and gentlemen, you see the full roster. With the exception of Legends, because I don't do Legends. I like to use current day stars. With the exception of Legends, everyone you see right now are up for grabs. Raw, SmackDown, and the people who were on NXT, because we're not doing NXT in 2K24. I'm not doing uh, NXT. Not because I don't love NXT. I love NXT. But I'm not doing it. We're not doing uh, NXT this year. Not for 2K22. Or I mean 2K24. Unless, like, the rosters just get so packed that I just need a third brand. But if as long as we have the current roster that we have we have enough to support literally just two rosters and we'll just do that but it's time to add our first superstars and i know for 2k23 i literally went to gm mode and did um a draft but this year i'm just gonna because i kind of already have the roster in mind so first overall pick on raw roman reigns it, like, if we're being honest, if WWE was to do a draft today, he's the first overall pick, and it doesn't matter what brand he would go to. He is the first overall pick, like, just in general. Second pick for Raw, crazy enough, is Seth Rollins. Um, is that all the guys? Okay. Next pick, just because he's already right here, we're doing AJ Styles. So, so far, I'm just trying to cover the WWE Championship. Where I'm kind of doing this by, um, world champion, by, like, championship, uh, classes. So, next pick after that, we're going Bobby Lashley. Then after Bobby, ladies and gentlemen, last year, I retired the character of Bray Wyatt out of respect and love for Bray Wyatt. This year, not saying, you know, you know I still love and respect Bray. You know, he was one of my favorite superstars, like, ever. I was beyond excited when he came back at Extreme Rules extremely sad when I heard that he had passed. But, and you know, I wanted to pay my respect by retiring the character. This season, we're going to pay our respect by bringing the character back and using him. I know that might be a little bit, you know, why retire the character in one year, but then bring him back in the next year. Last year was more... You know, I didn't want to use him and in any way, shape, or form disrespect the character, especially because we had no idea what Bray was going to do prior to his passing. But now I feel like enough time has passed where we can show our love and appreciation and respect for the character by using him. You know, just a little justification. If you're sitting there wondering why all of a sudden Bray is getting used and he didn't get used used last season or last game after Bray we got Cody Rhodes after Cody Rhodes we got Drew McIntyre and is that it for world title contenders 
Mm, oh, Randy Orton, absolutely. Mm. Yep, that's it. We got eight people. So we go here next, or we could just go down here. I don't need to do all that. And they're in any other slot. They are in other. We got our first date, ladies and gentlemen. And now I know you're probably sitting there wondering, why did you put so much main event talent on Raw? Well, we'll get back to that in a minute. Up first, we need to do the women's. First pick, Alexa Bliss. Then Oscar. I'm literally, I'm more than, I'm literally just kind of going in order that they appear. I, I'm telling you that now. Bailey, Becky, yeah, Bianca, Bianca. Charlotte. Is there anyone else? Is there no one else? I know everyone's looking, it's probably looking at Rhea, like, why aren't you picking her? She's going to SmackDown. I'm going to tell you guys that now. Rhea's going to SmackDown, and you'll see why. You you will see why. Um, Is there anybody else? Uh, all right. I I have the next two picks. We're gonna go Trish. Just jump over real quick. And Lita. Should I add Eve? We'll come back to that. Okay. We got our first sixteen. So, we got our first 16, 8 and 8. We'll leave it there for right now. I think the show could support itself. Yes, it can. All right. And now, we delete that. And we re-add that. <laughs> even though that doesn't do much. I don't even know why I deleted it, to be honest with you. Delete. Uh, let's go ahead and remove them all. That should be it. Yep. Okay. Go down to five. Add the championships. So, ladies and gentlemen, I should probably yeah, sure. Can I just remove. I should probably tell you guys now what we're doing, or what I'm doing at least, is a hard, hard brand split. The only time. You have these guys, uh, like Raw and SmackDown, on the same show. It will literally only be for SummerSlam, Money in the Bank, Survivor Series, Royal Rumble, and WrestleMania. And those will be 
our big pay-per-views, you know? And when I say big pay-per-view, oh, actually, it's going to be six, because I forgot Elimination Chamber. Elimination Chamber. I guess that's another thing I should probably tell you guys. So after doing season mode, oh, season, universe mode last year for 2K23, I saw the biggest thing was it seemed like more people enjoyed more pay-per-views than that season three where there were only like five really long pay-per-views. It seems like you guys didn't like that as much. So we're not going to do that. You know, we're every month on the calendar. We'll have a pay-per-view, but some pay-per-views will be exclusively raw and some pay-per-views will be exclusively SmackDown. Uh, with the exception of, like I said, the big six, those will be Raw and SmackDown each. Those pay-per-views should have about 10 matches. As for where... let From 8 to 10. 8 to 10... It's only going to be like 10 matches for like Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber, and Survivor Series where you have, you know, a, a Royal Rumble and Elimination Chamber or uh, War Games. Though that's the only reason those pay-per-views would even be 10. Those big pay-per-views will likely be just eight matches. Eight matches, 10 with, you know, the shared pay-per-views because there are actual... You know, they're themed and they have an actual huge match that, you know, you can do outside of just like the championships. But with that being said, let's make our official first pick for SmackDown. Let's go down the list here and there he is. There he is. Um. Uh, oh no, I didn't. I didn't even get to him yet. Um, bam and bam. There's Finn, Gunther, Elia, Jay. Um. Oh, La Knight. There's Kevin. Ray Santos, there's Sammy. Wesley. Um is there anybody else? Is there somebody I am forgetting? Oh, there's JD. And I think that's good for now. Oh, crap. We already have our first 15. <laughs> All right. Uh, and watch how this plays out, ladies and gentlemen. One less than Raw. But ladies and gentlemen, this very much is your world title picture on SmackDown. As crazy as it is, and believe me, I kind of get that it's a little bit crazy to have these guys, only these guys. Don't want to put Santos in here? I do want to put Santos in here. Okay, we got eight. There's eight people in here now. I know it's, it seems a little crazy to have 
only new guys, you know, LA Knight and Jey Uso and Gunther, they're not really new. I mean, no, no one's really new, but like some of these guys aren't even on the main roster in real life. You know what I mean? But, and I'm going to tell you why. It's because I do love NXT, but I don't want to run the NXT show. But I feel like those NXT stars should still have their very own platform to perform. So, we're going to give them SmackDown. We're going to mix them in with some main roster talent. It's not just going to be all NXT on SmackDown. Because then we might as well just make NXT. You know, there's going to be some main roster, you know, real main roster talent on SmackDown too. But, um... Yeah, this is kind of what we're doing here. As for the tag titles, we're going to put them in there. Yep. Hold on one second. Yeah, aren't they? Hold on. I don't think they are a tag team. No, they're not. Huh. I thought Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn were a tag team. My mistake. All right, let's go back to that editing SmackDown. So we got our mail picks. Hmm. All right, let's do women now. So attitude is very much the same. It very much is. Um. Court Jade. Uh, well, I'd live Morgan. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'd live. If you guys watch the 2K23 universe mode, then you already know how Nikita Lyons did. <laughs> It'd be almost ridiculous to not add her at this point. We'll do Raquel. We add Rhea. Roxanne. Thea Hill. Tiffany Stratton. Uh, Zelina and Zoe Stark. SmackDown is already at 25. I know SmackDown seems a little bit more stacked, and it, it, it kind of is. Not not even really kind of. It, it, it just kind of... It, it, it is. It, it is stacked. SmackDown is, like, already stacked. Um... Well, that Ray... Dominic... Should it be... Okay, you know what? I have this backwards. This is what we're going to do. We'll add Ray to the world tile picture. And we'll add Santos to the Intercontinental. <clears throat> I'm not adding Kevin Owens or Sami Zayn yet. Because I want them to be a tag team. And I know that, you know... I want them to be a tag team. We're, we're going to have them be a tag team, and that will probably be one of the first things that we kind of do. But for now, and then we got Dirty Don, so we don't need JD in here. JD will just kind of float in the other. All right. So with that being said, the Women's Championship and the Men's Championships on both shows are established so what do you guys say we just fill out the ranks <sighs> so the idea the ideal theme for uh, for raw is the superstar show this is the show that you'd watch when you want to see all of the big names and the big superstars are the established stars you know that brand that you want, you know, because that's always kind of what Raw has been. Raw itself is the established brand. It's the longest running brand. It's established. That's where all the big stars, I feel, should be, you know? 
So hey, I know there might be this kind of feeling of that kind of makes um, SmackDown seem small, but in reality, SmackDown is like the new star brand. That's where you go to see the newer stars and then some not as huge uh, stars, you know? Not saying that anyone on Raw is, you know, bigger names than anyone on SmackDown, but, you know, you kind of have newer gimmicks, newer stars on SmackDown. So, that being said, our next pick for Raw is Big E. Then we will add Braun. Uh, yeah, Chad Gable. Mm. Ivar. I think I already passed Eric, but, you know, we'll add him, too. Uh, but also, ladies and gentlemen, this does kind of come the fun part. Because now that we're just filling out ranks and we're just kind of throwing people in here, we can even add, we can, you know, like, there, there are a lot of NXT guys. There are a lot of NXT guys. So because of that fact alone, Raw will get new stars too. But SmackDown is going to be kind of new star focused. You know what I mean? We'll add R-Truth. I like R-Truth. We all like R-Truth. Ricochet is pretty well established. We'll add him to Raw. Uh, he probably shine better in NXT, but we'll add him to Raw. Mm. Do I want to add Sheamus to Raw or SmackDown? I definitely want to add Shinsuke to Raw. Uh, definitely want to add Uncle Howdy. You know, just because Bray Wyatt is here. There's Xavier. Yo, the fact that William Regal is a 76, in my opinion, is crazy. Like, that, that is crazy to me. Uh, okay. Uh, Solo will add him, because, you know, Roman. Keep the bloodline together. Yeah, we'll add Omos. We'll add Omos. We'll add Nikki Cross. Of course, Natalia. Uh, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. Y'all can be on Raw. Maurice, you can be on Raw. Oh, we're keeping the OC together. So Mia Yim, you're in. There's Kofi. Yeah, you well, know, you know, we're not going to hinder gender. We'll add gender and Jimmy, of course. Can't forget Jimmy Uso. Bailey's on here, so we will add Eo Sky and Dakota Kai. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll add Eve. There's Eric. Hmm. There anyone else? Uh, we'll add Beth Phoenix. We'll absolutely keep Beth Phoenix. Uh, Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin. We'll add him. Angelo, Apollo Cruz, and oh yeah, Tozawa. Where's Otis? I already put. It. Where's Otis? Mm. Oh yeah, Sanga, and I guess we should add Veer. Veer is coming. 
Oh, Valhalla and Veer. Alright. Oof, Raw is at 52. That might be enough. <laughs> Raw might be done. Uh, let's see who we want in the US tile picture. Oh, well, no, you know, we'll do the tag team tile picture. Jimmy and Solo, Dawkins and Ford, New Day, Gallows and Anderson, Chad Gable, Otis, Eric Ivar, Sanger, Sanger and Beer. Okay. Tag division is stacked. Seven tag teams. Uh, U.S. title. So, Logan Paul, we'll add Logan, The Miz, Ricochet, uh, Gender, we'll add Gender, Biggie, we'll add Biggie, Shinsuke and Braun, where are we at? We're at seven, let's see, who else? Um, Baron, Baron, he's good. Oh, I guess we should also fill out, finish filling out the women's division, huh? So, I don't think I had Dakota Kai. I didn't see her name there. Where are you at, Dakota? Here you are. Okay, Raw has 53. That's, that's huge. Apollo, Apollo can go in the U.S. division. Absolutely. I'm thinking about MVP and our truth but uh, probably not. Omos is more of an attraction. I wouldn't... Not saying he can't be champion, but he's more of an attraction than, uh, at world title, than a title contender. And MVP is his manager. Our truth he's more of a funny, gimmick guy. And... Uncle Howdy is more of an attraction too. Akira Tozawa, he he's more uh well, I already have. Yeah, sure, we'll add him. Why not? Oh, actually, Raw's up to be fifty-four people because I forgot about one more person. There you are. Okay. Okay. So Raw is done. We move back over to SmackDown. So now you guys can probably see where this is going. Everyone else. Alba Fire, Garza, Chase. Did I have theory to Raw? I don't think I did. Axiom. Austin Theory being 72 is, oh my God, that is crazy. 2K, your rating system is crazy. Blair, we will add Big Bronson Reed, Brent Jensen, Brutus and Butch, Cameron Grimes, Candice LeRae, Carmella, Stax, uh, Chelsea Green, yeah, Cedric, sure, Cruz El Toro, Die Jack. Drew, Duke, Elton, Gigi Dolan, Giovanni Vinci, Inley, Grayson Waller, Humberto, Indy, Isla, Ivy, <clears throat> JC Jane, Joe Coffey, Josh Briggs, Johnny Wrestling, Joe Gacy, Julius, Caden and Katana, Carrie and Cross, Ludwig, Kit, Mark Coffey, Nathan Frazier, Noam Dar, Piper, Ooh, 
Bridge Holland. I did. Yeah, I think I think I'm pretty sure I did. Karen Cross will add Scarlet. Scripps. Shayna. I don't think I had Seamus to Raw. We'll put him on SmackDown. Shotzi. Sonya. Champa. Knox. The Don. Trick Williams. Tyler Bate. Wendy Chu, Zia Lee, Wolfgang. All right, how many guys we got on? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Ah. Uh. Mm. Well, SmackDown is massive. Let's edit these divisions. Okay, and we oh start with the tag team. Let's just go ahead and fill out them ranks. Nope. Uh, okay. If you thought the Raw tag division was stacked, SmackDown's tag division is stacked. Okay. This IC division, let's go ahead and just let's go crazy. Um All right. Karen Cross, Big Bronson Reed, Austin Theory, whoop that trick. Grayson Waller, Die Jack, Seamus, Joe, Co yeah, Joe Gacy, we like Joe. Uh, Nathan Fraser, sure. Hold on. Wait a minute. Did I forget somebody. As crazy as that sounds, I think I forgot somebody. Uh, oh, damn it! I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, I did forget somebody. I forgot a few people actually. Whoops! And I thought I was being thorough. Ah, there's Walking Wild. Anyone else? Anybody else? Alright, I think that's it. I think we got everyone. Whew. SmackDown is a, has an 87 man roster. Uh, that is actually. That's. That's too big. That's way too big. But that being said, Raw will, once I start getting the creative superstars on Raw, Raw will probably, and also we got to imagine DLC characters too, so Raw is probably going to grow significantly. SmackDown is huge, but Raw is probably going to be pretty huge too, actually. Raw is like far from finished, only because we don't have all the characters. All the superstars. SmackDown is huge, but you know, 87 people, that's all good. Um, oh yeah, we're not done with the. Are we? Are we? Can we be? <laughs> I don't know. This SmackDown division is. Uh, well, well, Axiom uh, and Wolfgang and Lamdar and Cameron Grimes. 
there anybody else? Mm. Mm. Sure, we'll have Ridge Holland. Okay. 16 people in the IC tile division. That means that all 16 of these guys have a chance to just go crazy. They have an opportunity to go crazy and prove they deserve to move up. That's going to be the huge difference maker universe mode, ladies and gentlemen. These guys are not going to be stuck in any division. These guys will move up or down depending on how they do. Is there anyone else in the women's division? There is a few people in the women's division. Oh, yeah. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, I just had a... I'm not going to say brilliant idea, but definitely an idea. Let's remove them. So, actually, the women's tag division does exist. It exists on SmackDown. Which means I'm probably going to have to add... Three teams, that's pretty small, actually. That's still very tiny. The Way isn't a team yet. Toxic Attraction isn't a Way anymore. Sheena Baszler and um, Zoe Starks aren't an official team. And I haven't unlocked Ronda yet, so I can't just throw uh, Shayna with Ronda for the moment. Uh, oh my god, I have Carmella out of the... Yeah, we gotta add her quick. Okay. Ah, Blair. Sure. Oh, Ivy Nile. We'll, we'll add Ivy Nile. We'll let her compete for the women's championship. And then when it comes to these women who are unselected, more than likely, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to find a way to have them fill out our women's tag team division. Uh, and I know Butch being unselected in any, you know, World Heavyweight or Intercontinental division is kind of crazy. Just like Tyler Bate, but there's a reason I'm going to actually put together the new Catch Republic. So when you when you see these guys, just just know that there are most of the people who are unselected are probably gonna end up in tag teams. Okay. So that's done for now. Um. Uh, okay. Raw is done. SmackDown is done. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you didn't think it was over because it ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta answer this real quick. Okay. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you didn't think it was over, because it ain't over yet. We got all these months, which means we got all the pay-per-views to add. So, we'll start off by just going ahead and getting the big one out the way. And... Yeah. Mania should only have eight. 
You know what? No, let's, let's just go ahead. Just even it out to a solid 10. Mania. We'll do March. Where is it at? There it is. Eh, yeah, 10. Yeah. February? Crazy enough. Royal Rumble is in February, ladies and gentlemen. I know it usually takes place in January, but here comes the other crazy part. In January, it's Survivor Series. <laughs> yeah, we got literally four big pay-per-views at the end of the season. This is like the home stretch right here. This is the road to WrestleMania. Once we get to Survivor Series, we are on the road to WrestleMania. So, now that being said, we have all of this to play with. And two more big pay-per-views. So, first pay-per-view. Well, of course, be back. Uh, Backlash. And because Raw comes first, Raw gets it first. So, we have to have at least six, because five, you know, we really can't even go to five on pay-per-views. Um, that being said, there's only four rivalry slots, which leaves room for two more matches, just two more out-of-nowhere matches from Raw's end. That is why pay-per-views, believe it or not, will only have about six matches. As crazy as that is. A regular pay-per-view will only have six matches. So June is next. And we will do... I'm really thinking of Extreme Rules. We are doing Extreme Rules. Yep. So, May and June belong to Raw and SmackDown. July is Money in the Bank. Ten matches. Yeah, that's about right. August belongs to the biggest party of the summer. Uh, uh, you know what? A little room to work. A little room to work. We'll, we'll give ourselves a little room to work. It's still going to be the shortest of the big six pay-per-views, but, you know, only nine matches. Yeah. August, September, October, November, December. We got four more pay-per-views. Um... So up first will be fast lane. Yeah, we'll do fast lane. And that'll belong to Raw. Yeah, because Extreme Rules is SmackDown. So fast lane. And then we've got Night of Champions. Which belongs to SmackDown. November. Will be Payback. Belongs to Raw. And now December. And as you see, all of the big... The only thing that's left is NXT, right? But, this is where the fun begins. Move that down to six. Only SmackDown hosts. And we are going to do... Uh, 
Oh, there's only really one option. Location doesn't matter. There's no show intros. Where is it? Um, there it is. Would it be easier if I just went down? Crazy enough? Not really. It's even longer. Who do we want to referee? Uh, we'll do Rod. We'll do Rod. Wait a minute. This is a SmackDown pay-per-view. Guess we should just go ahead and do that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'll never forgive myself if I misspell this on air. I'll start this whole video over. I'll delete everything and start all the way over. Ah, let's change the location. It's kind of weird to have a clash at the castle in Los Angeles. Even just looking at that just don't seem right to me. Where is it? Oh, it's from under California. Where am I? Of course. Probably would have been easier if I had just gone. There we are. Okay. And we'll go to other and we'll do. No, not Australia. Not Canada. No, 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 no. Not Germany. No, not Greece. Really. It wasn't in Ireland. It was in. Um, here we are. Was it in England? No, it wasn't in England. It was in Scotland. Yeah, yeah, it was in Scotland. Now, I know it's kind of crazy to have Clash of the Castle and not have Drew McIntyre on the show in any way, shape, or form, but, um, okay, so the next time we're going to edit, <laughs> I, I, ladies and gentlemen, I did that on purpose. I, I really don't want to explain that. Uh, we're not doing, we're doing that Charles Robinson. So now we gotta go through all the SmackDown pay per views. That's Raw. Uh, champions. And. Do we have a. Oh. Yep. We do have a female ref. It's the little things, ladies and gentlemen. It's the little things. <clears throat> Having a SmackDown ref. And for our SmackDown show and pay-per-views. It just helps the feeling a little bit. It just helps with the immersion. That's all. It's not even all that important. And because I did it for SmackDown, I'll do it for Raw. John Cohn kind of want Rod. We'll do Rod. And because Rod is now our main referee. Uh, we'll also have Jessica. Rod and Jessica. They, they can be our referee team. This SummerSlam. All the big pay-per-views, it doesn't matter who we have. 
and we can't actually individually go in and decide who is you know going to be a part of every match anyway so we're not even gonna worry about that no 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 yeah yeah rod there we go and like i said all of this it just doesn't matter because when it comes to those shared pay-per-views we can't have the smackdown referee actually be there for smackdown anyway so it doesn't matter and the only thing i really wish i could edit I really wish I could do it, but they haven't given us the option was which announcer we can have on which show, because let me tell you something. It would bother my soul to no end if it was. Um, damn, I just had his name, uh, the announcer for uh, Smackdown on the Raw show instead of Samantha Irving. Like, if Samantha Irving is the announcer for Backlash, that's perfect to me. But if it's not her, it, it, it will, like, even if I don't, like, ever say anything, like, ever from beyond this point, just know that low-key would be grinding my gears. Like, low-key, that I can't change the ref, uh, the announcer on the show would just kind of bother me. Just a little bit. Okay, that being said, ladies and gentlemen, the calendar is made, the shows have been edited, the championships all vacant, but here, hold on, let me, let me just see something, I just, no, 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 no. Oh, it would literally only be Bailey and Dakota. There would just be no point. There would just be no point in doing that. There would just be no point in doing that. But okay. That being said, the calendar is made. The shows are edited. The stars are in place. Um, How long have we been going for? Let me check that real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Let me check that real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, uh, you're hearing my voice. Uh, we've been going over an hour. We've been going over an hour. Hmm. Well, I don't want to make this video too long. I really don't. Um, as far as when will we get the first episode, that will literally be today. I'm sticking with the schedule. So today, at about 3 or 5 o'clock, I will be posting the first episode. Now, the only thing, and I'm, I'm going to tell you guys this now, what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to make it an actual episode instead of going live. From now on... And this, I'll let you guys know how this plays out. If there's an episode of SmackDown and it was like a live episode, then you'll just know that it didn't work out at all. Or if even if it's a live episode of Raw, then you'll know that it just didn't work out at all. But I'm going to try to make an episode, like an actual episode, and get that out. And hopefully the episode is fairly short. It, uh, I think you guys, I think from what I had seen, just looking over 2K23 and how all of that played out, it seems like more people enjoy the more short episodes compared to the over one hour shows. So I'm going to try and keep a lot of these kind of short for you. As for pay-per-views, though, or even like special episodes of Raw and SmackDown, it's like the 50th episode, the 100th episode 
you know, the 150th, the 200th, if we get to 300, you know, those will essentially be, you know, if those are landing on like a Raw or SmackDown, those will just be like big Raw and SmackDown episodes that I stream. But other than that, I'm going to try and keep these shows short and sweet and to the point. So hopefully this is the only long episode I do until Backlash. Another thing has to be added, and I have to state this now. Instead of only giving you guys essentially two weeks, so it would be, I would literally just do these two episodes of Raw, and then these two episodes of SmackDown. Yeah, instead of doing that, we're going down the entire month. So, and that being said, I should also clarify, Friday is when Raw airs, Saturday is when SmackDown airs. From So on Friday, around 3 or 5 o'clock, you'll get an episode of Raw. On Saturday, is around 3 or 5 o'clock, you will get an episode of SmackDown. And then, you know, the pay-per-views, they'll either happen on... Well, either, I don't know, Friday or Saturday. It could fall on both days, maybe even a Sunday. We might even do a Sunday stream. But Sundays, if we do a stream on Sundays, those streams on Sundays will happen way earlier. Those streams on Sundays will happen at like anywhere from 10 to from 10 o'clock to like 12 o'clock. One o'clock at the latest. But, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, we are done here. The universe is made. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you are excited for how the shows are going to play out. Let me, if you guys have any, you know, special requests, any special rivalries you want to see heading forward in 2K24, please let me know. Just put it down in the comments. I promise I'll see it. And, you know, I'll add it. We'll actually get to see how these rivalries play out. You know, how you guys want to see the rivalries you want and the rivals you want to see. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed this content, remember to like, subscribe, you know, share it with a friend. <sighs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Neck was hurting for a second. Um... Am I missing anything? Oh, of course I'm missing something. I have been your host, King Chiron. I love and appreciate you for coming to this video, coming to hang out, spend a little time while we build up universe mode. If you just got 2K24 and you needed an idea on how to do your universe mode, hopefully mines can at least serve as a template on how you guys want to do it. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get on up out of here. Take care. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I will see you all again at about 3 o'clock. Or at least you'll see me. Until then, ladies and gentlemen.